Hi, I'm Chad with Move Forward Guitar. This lesson is from our series, How to Read Music for Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to explain time signatures. First off, if you like all the diagrams for this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, How to Read Music for Guitar. But I am working on it right now as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching this lesson. If it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that will allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 12 from our series, How to Read Music for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So up to this point, we've looked at staffs that look like this. In the last session, we added these bar lines in, which was another missing piece. But there's still another missing piece that's really important that goes down here, and that's called the time signature. And the time signature would look something like this. This is the most common one you'll see, but there are other time signatures as well. And this is telling you the meter of the song or the rhythmic feel of the song. And when you have this information, it really tells you what's going on with the notes and the note values. Because like I said when I was going over the notes, that I was just basing them relative to each other. But this is actually going to tell you more important information about those note values. So we're going to start off with this time signature, which is called 4-4. Four, four, and it's the most common time signature you're going to run across. And it's the most important to just start understanding and really understand. Because like I said, you're going to run across it all the time. And the other ones that you come across will be less common. So this top number right here represents how many beats per measure or bar. And this number can be anything. The most common thing you're going to see is a 4, but it could be anything. It could be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Any number could be on the top. And what the beat is, is the pulse of the song. So just like humans have a pulse, the beat is the pulse of the song. So it's what you feel. It's what you would set your metronome to. You hear that clicking. Or it's the feel that the drummer's playing to. He's not going to play every single beat specifically or necessarily, but you're going to feel that beat moving through. And it's just intuitive to feel a beat. It's what you clap your hands to. It's what you tap your foot to. You know what the beat is intuitively, even if you can't explain it. The bottom note represents what note actually gets that beat, meaning where that beat is going to land within a bar of music. So what note, whether that note is played or not by an instrument, where that actual beat is landing and what note duration it actually is. And the way you determine that, it's a little confusing if you've never seen it before. This four, what that's actually representing is the quarter note. Because if we look at the notes that we were looking at before, I told you the whole note was one, half note was drawn like this with a half, quarter like this with the one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth. When you see that bottom number, Think about it as the bottom number of a fraction. So like a quarter, the bottom number would be four. So that bottom number, if it's a four, if this bottom number is a four right here, that's representing the quarter note. If that bottom number was an eight, that'd be representing an eighth note. If that bottom number was a 16, it'd be representing a 16th note. But the most common way you're going to see it is as a four. And this bottom number cannot be any number like the top number could. The top number, like I say, can be any number. The bottom number has to be one of these values. So for example, 2, 4, 8, 16. It could be more than that. It could be 32, 64, because then you're just taking the 16, doubling that, taking the 32, doubling that. But we're not getting into those notes. And it's very unlikely that you'd ever see that. The most common ones you'll see will be 2, 4, or 8. And the most common by far is the four, meaning that the quarter note is actually where that beat is landing. So if we are looking at a piece of music in four, four time, I've just written these all as quarter notes and A notes. It doesn't matter the pitch right now. We're talking about time. Where you would tap your foot is right where these quarter notes are landing. There's four quarter notes in a bar and the quarter note gets the beat. So if you set your metronome, it would click here, it would click here, it would click here, it would click here, and so on. That doesn't mean you have to play those notes right with the beat, but that's where the actual pulse of the song is going. And we know that from this number right here telling us that that's a quarter note getting the beat. This number is telling us how many of these quarter notes or beats there are per measure. So since there's four, there's four quarter notes 
per measure or the equivalent of that, which I'll talk about just in a sec, and each one of those quarter notes gets the beat. So this is the simplest way you could possibly write a 4-4 time, which is four quarter notes within a measure, but it doesn't have to be like that. It could be like this. So now none of these have four quarter notes in it. This is the same thing that I showed you in a previous lesson. But again, all of these note values, when you add them up, equal four quarter notes, which I mentioned in that lesson. So again, you have one quarter note, two quarter note, and this is a half note, so that's two quarter notes by itself, so that's four quarter notes. This is a half note, which means it's two quarter notes. This is an eighth note, which means it's one quarter note together. And this is a quarter note, which is another quarter note. That's four quarter notes. So every single one of these bars has to have four quarter notes in it if you're in four four time. It has to equal the amount of four quarter notes. For example, right here, it's not a quarter note. It's a whole note, but a whole note equals four quarter notes. Or it can be done with rest. It doesn't have to be done with just notes. You can do that with space where you're not playing anything. But again, here's a quarter note, that's one. This is a quarter note rest, so that equals one as well. This is a half note that equals two. That's still four quarter notes. Or we could go here, you have a quarter note here. You have two sixteenth notes, which equal an eighth note. And then you have an eighth note rest and another eighth note. So this whole thing right here, these notes and that rest equal one quarter note and then you have two quarter notes by yourself, that's four quarter notes. And then you have a whole note rest right here, a whole note equals four quarter notes. And again, the beat would be going on the quarter notes, da, 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 and you would count one, two, three, four, and then da, 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 one, two, three, four. Every time you hit a new bar, you do the same thing. Like I said, you don't have to play the beat. Obviously, you're playing a quarter note here, you're not playing this one, and then you're playing one here and holding it through the other beat. So the pulse can be going. That doesn't mean you have to play the exactly with the pulse or with the beat. And even if that beat's not going, even if you don't have some sort of click or percussion that's actually keeping that, you would still keep the feel of that and you would still be moving in this time where your internal clock is going da, 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 and so on. And it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. Now the speed of these isn't determined yet. We haven't talked about tempo. We're only talking about duration. So this, without a tempo shown, could be really fast. It could be dut, 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 or it could be really slow, dut, 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 dut. We haven't hit that yet. We're just talking about actual duration of the notes and the pulse, which is a steady beat moving through the music. And there's also another common time signature that you see nowhere near as common as 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is the most common, but a 3-4 is pretty common as well. You'll run into it, and that's a waltz, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's the sound of a waltz. You know a waltz as soon as you hear it. Although not all 3-4 has to sound exactly like a waltz. It's just hard not to sound like a waltz when you're playing in 3-4. And then that would look like this. So the simplest way you could write it is three quarter notes per bar because again this tells you how many beats per bar this tells you what gets the beat which is the quarter note so that would mean you have three beats per bar which are quarter notes so then you count this one two three one two three and so on but of course you don't have to write it all as quarter notes it could be written in any note value just as long as they equal three quarter notes per bar. So for example, here's one quarter note, here's a half note which equals two quarter notes, that's three quarter notes. So that equals three quarter notes per that bar. Here's a half note, that's two quarter notes. Here's an eighth note which is one quarter note, that's three, and so on. Every bar is the same and it can be done with the rest as well. So down here is one quarter note, four sixteenths equal one quarter note, and this is a quarter note rest which equals one quarter note. So that's three down here as well. So again, Top note represents how many beats per bar. Bottom note represents what note gets the beat. The quarter note's getting the beat. One, two, three, one, two, three. It doesn't mean you have to play those note values right with the beat, but that's the pulse of the song. That's the pulse, the beat of the song. So like I said, four, four is the most common you'll see. Three, four is fairly common too, but a four on the bottom is the most common you'll see by far but there are other notes you can have on the bottom like eight or 16 or two. But when the four is on the bottom, 
then your note values equal this, which I mentioned earlier, where I talked about how these are what the beats would actually be in common time. A whole note would be four beats, which is four quarter notes. Half note would be two beats, which is two quarter notes. A quarter note would be the beat, so that would be one beat. An eighth note would be half a beat. Sixteenth note would be a quarter of the beat. So this is the most common way you're going to understand these note values. And one last thing before I leave this lesson, I mentioned that 4-4 four four is the most common time signature that you'll see in Western music. And it's so common that it's actually called common time. So if you see this symbol, that represents common time, which means it's in 4-4. Four four. And if all this is really confusing, we'll dive deeper in upcoming lessons. And I'm going to do a whole series on rhythm to really dive into it. This is something that can be pretty confusing if you're not used to it or this is the first time you're hearing it. It's something you just kind of have to go over and over. The beat, the pulse is something you feel intuitively, but it can be kind of hard to break down and explain until you're really used to it. So just keep going through the lessons. Watch my rhythm series lessons when that's available. And over time, it'll just be really natural to you and you'll fully understand it. So that's an explanation of time signatures. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to explain tempo. And be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.